we're going. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. Friggin' ghosts. Can't get a straightforward answer out of any of them. What just happened? What just happened is we've got an unstable spirit on our hands. Haunting that dog park over there. You wondered why the mutts don't like it here? That's the reason. There's a ghost haunting the dog park. That's what I said. A ghost. Sure. What am I doing here? I told you. No. No. I really should go to bed. Hey, wait a sec. Yeah, sleep. I shouldn't be here. Oh, for the love of Pete. What an odd dream. Good morning, Bright Eyes. Uh, you're still here. Wouldn't be anywhere else. Has anybody told you that you snore? I do not snore. Like a chainsaw, darling. I'd be a little hacked off if I actually slept. So this is going to be my life from now on? Pretty much, yeah. You're going to follow me around for the rest of my life. That's how it works, as far as I can tell. Great. Just great. Hey, it ain't all a bed of roses for me either, dollface. You think I chose to be shackled to your family for the last 40 years? Your grandmother refused to accept it, and look what happened to her. And auntie? She made a mistake. What kind of mistake? Hey, what is this, 20 questions? What's with the third degree? I have a right to know. No, you want to know. There's a difference. I don't have to tell you squat. Look, this isn't easy, you know. You're a ghost? Fine. I'm a medium? Fine. My whole life is turned upside down? Fine. But you could at least meet me halfway. You've accepted it, you say? So far, yes. You've only seen a taste of it. Are you ready to go all the way? What do you mean? Ready to see what's out there. Ready to see what this is all about. There's more? Oh, yes. So what is it? I don't have to tell you. It's best if I show you. Here, take a hold of this. I can touch it? Yeah, the only part of me you can touch, unfortunately. It kind of tingles. What is it? The stuff of life. Or death. I've never quite worked it out. What now? Now you pull. Pull the tie? Yeah, pull. Okay. Oh my god. Where have you taken me? Relax. Take your time. It's a lot to take in at once. What is this place? It's the doorway to infinity, darling. Out there, in the distance, the next world. The next plane of existence. The gossamer threads that separate this world from the next. Whatever you want to call it. It's all out there. How did we get here? We're inside your head. You mean I'm dreaming? No, I mean we're literally inside your head. Remember those headaches you had yesterday? Yeah. That was your power awakening. Or to be more specific, it was this place, forcing its way into your mind. There's a hole in my head. Sort of. I'm not sure I like this. Well, like it or not, we're here. So what does this place actually do? It's sort of a transfer point or node. It connects the mortal world with the next. You bring spirits into this place and then send them on their merry way. That's it. Well, there's a bit more to it than that. I thought as much. You see, many ghosts aren't as lucid as myself. Most can barely tell you their own names, let alone tell you what's wrong. Near as I can figure, they have to come to terms with their... departure. Before they can actually depart. You dig me so far? No. Can you explain it again? I'll put it more simply for you. 
The ghosts don't know they're dead, so we have to help them accept it. Once they accept their death, they are much more willing to move on. That's my job, see? I talk to the spooks. They trust me more because I'm one of them. You do the legwork. See? Anyway, I know you have some questions about this place, so go ahead and ask them. What about that ghost in the park? The one from last night? Why didn't we bring her here? First of all, I didn't think you were ready. And secondly, that ghost was too lost and confused. When a ghost is like that, I can't just force the tie into their hands. It won't work, don't ask me why. They have to know they're dead first. Your aunt called it, uh, being spiritually ready. What about you? Can you go through that hole and move on? I wish, darling. But I can't. I've tried before, but it just spits me back out. I'm stuck here, whether I like it or not. You're wearing your tie again. How did that happen? Not sure. Near as your aunt and me figured, the tie is just an extension of whatever power brought us here. It's not a real physical tie. No more than I am a real physical person. But that makes no sense. Look, just accept it, dollface. Forget logic. For you, logic went out the window the day I appeared in your bedroom. There ain't no instruction manual for this. Your aunt and me just figured it out as we went along. Are you okay, Joey? Me? I'm dandy. You don't look alright. Uh, it's just this place. I don't like it. Probably because I don't belong. Maybe someday, but not now. I think I've learned enough. You sure? Yeah. Alright. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Welcome back. Ugh. Take it easy. It's a little disorientating. I'm fine. So what now? Go back to the park and bring her to... that place? You got it. And how do we do that? There are three steps. First, we have to find out more about her. Second, we use that information to get through to her, convince her that she's dead. And three, help her move on. How do we find out more about her? She could be anybody. Not necessarily. That picture you got, the one of the three girls? That blonde girl is either the ghost in the park or her twin sister. You sure? She's a dead ringer. No pun intended. The blonde girl is dead. Looks like it. And this other girl, Joanne, she's dead too. Yep. What's going on? That, my dear, is our bread and butter. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. What else can we do to learn more about the ghost in the park? The photo, dear, it's the biggest clue we have. How do we convince ghosts that they're actually dead? That's the tricky part. Near as I can figure, we need to remind the ghosts who they are. Their death was too traumatic or too violent or too emotional that their little spirit minds snapped. So we need to do whatever we can to bring them back to themselves. And how do we do that? Usually by finding something that has a personal significance to them. It could be an object, a piece of information, or even another person. So we need to know more about the ghost in the park. You're a writer, yeah? Think of this as the ultimate character study. How do we help a ghost move on? With my magic tie, dear. I give one end to the spook, the other end to you. You pull the ghost in, and you send them on their way. You don't come in with me? No, sorry. That's your job. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want to ruin the picture. Joey crashes yet another photograph. Joey crashes yet another photograph. He doesn't look happy. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want to ruin the picture. Joey? 
Yes. You're sure that the ghost you saw is the girl in this picture? Positive. That's a very strong coincidence. <laughs> when it comes to your family, kid, there are no coincidences. It's like trouble goes out of its way to find you. How reassuring. Just calling him as I see him. I don't suppose you'd know anything about Joanne, would you? Nope, no more than you. Judging by the picture, she knows that sob story in the park, but that's all. Why would Joanne commit suicide? Who knows? Maybe she was in a hurry. That's not funny. If you want a different answer, ask a different ghost. What do you think of Adrian? Adrian? Huh. His parents must have really hated him to saddle him with that name. Joey. Still, to be sharing a floor with a bevy of young college ladies. Huh. Maybe he doesn't have it so bad. What do you think of Kelly? That kid? I suppose once you get past all that metal, and the clothes and the hair and the nasty makeup, not to mention the skin and the nasty attitude, maybe. Nah, forget it. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. I have nobody to call. You coming? Yeah, sure. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you recognize the girls in this photo? Hmm, well, that's Joanne. They're on the left. And the other two? I definitely recognize them. They were friends of Joanne. They were up here all the time, but I never spoke to them. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Hey, it's open. After you. Yeah. I'm not lugging that thing around. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Thanks again for lending me that photograph. No big deal. It was just sitting there on our desk. How are you holding up? I'm fine. Midterms are a bitch, but I'm handling it. Or I would be handling it if you didn't keep bugging me. Can I take a look around? What for? Just to see if I can find anything else about Joanne. What, you're a detective now? Well, forget it. Could you tell me about the other two girls in the photo? Oh, them. You know them? Only through Joanne. Do you know their names? The blonde girl is Allie, I think. And the Asian girl? She's Susan. Tried to avoid them when they were here. Really? Why? Look, I need my space. Joanne needed her friends around her. So whenever Joanne turned this place into Social Central, I had to split. They didn't care for me, and I didn't much care for them. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, oh, that was annoying. That was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying? Partying? Pushing up daisies? Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right? I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Not much. Quiet, I guess. 
Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions, but you touch nothing. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. I'm not getting into Kelly's bed. She hates me enough already. I'm not lugging that thing around. Thank God that's over. Over? What do you mean? We got what we came for, didn't we? What exactly do we know? Well... Exactly. That'll get us far. We gotta get back in there and search for more clues. Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? I'm afraid not. Who is Allie? She's... never mind. It's not important. Alright. Did you ever meet Joanne's friend, Susan? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Hey, it's open! After you. Yeah? The safety bars on the window prevent me from opening it. I'm not taking Kelly's things. To start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. Did you see the metal on that girl's yap? How does she brush her teeth? Same way as everybody else, I guess. Wouldn't it rust? Ugh. Imagine kissing a girl with rust breath. Joe. Shh. Try and keep it down, dear. You never know who's listening. I want to talk to you, Joey. What is it, dear? What was Auntie Lauren like? What do you want to know about her for? I just do. Can't you tell me anything? Hey, we've got lots to do. Ask me later. What was my grandmother like? Her? We have to talk about her? What's wrong with her? Nothing. Forget it. Ask me later. Joey, you're in this photograph. Oh, so I am. That was Jack and Maria's wedding. My parents? Yeah. Can you tell me anything about this picture, Joey? Oh, yeah. I remember this. This was taken about 40 years ago. Your grandmother insisted on it. So that's my grandmother? Yep. And that's my... dad? And Auntie Lauren? In the flesh. So what can you actually do? Do? As a ghost. Any powers or anything like that? What you see is what you get, dear. I can float through walls as long as I'm still near you. But you can't touch anything? Not really. Not really? Well, you remember that breeze you felt when I manifested myself last night? Yeah. That's the extent of my physical presence. Neat trick, huh? Not really. Everyone's a critic. How did you die? Excuse me? How did I die? Yeah. That's a bit of a personal question, isn't it? Is it? Yes! Sorry. 
So what can you do again? You want to repeat performance? All right. <laughs> Evildoers beware. I'm Joey Malone, and I command the power of light breezes. <laughs> So the ghost's name is Allie. Looks like it. And she's trapped in the dog run at Washington Square Park. That's where she is. And we have to save her. Yep. Is this going to be a typical day from now on? You'll look back on this as one of the normal ones. I don't suppose you know anything about Susan. Nope, no more than you. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. You coming? Yeah, sure. Yeah, open! After you. Yeah? Joe! Shh! You wanna start a riot? Keep your yap shut until we're alone. The safety bars on the window prevent me from opening it. I'm not lugging that thing around. I don't want to ruin the picture. I'm not taking Kelly's things. you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions, but you touch nothing. Do you know anything about Joanne's friend, Allie? You mean Miss Blondie? Yeah. I know enough, which isn't much. She was over here all the time visiting Joanne. She was kind of sweet, I guess. Laughed all the time. Ugh, oh, that was annoying. That was usually my cue to get out of here. What do you want to know about her? I'm having difficulty finding her. Would you know where she is? I don't know. She could be anywhere. Studying? Partying? Pushing up daisies? Shh. Huh? Nothing. Right? I don't suppose you know anything about Susan? Not much. Quiet, I guess. Maybe she just didn't talk around me. I never stuck around long enough to get to know her. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Oh yeah, way to turn over every stone looking for clues. What do you want from me? I'm doing the best I can. Well, try a bit harder. Joey!
Yes, darling? Let's talk some more about Auntie Lauren. Like I said, kid, later. We've got stuff to do first. I think I've heard enough. Yeah, let's get going. I have nobody to call. Without a last name, the word Allie is pretty useless. It's too common a name. Without a last name, the word Susan is pretty useless. It's too common a name. Griff is fine where he is. You coming? Yeah, sure. I'm not stealing. Yo, it's open. After you. Yeah. Judging from the photo Kelly gave me, Susan and Allie were close friends. I don't want to ruin the picture. I don't want to ruin the picture. I'm not lugging that thing around. Can I? No. Joanne and I might not have been buddies, but I'll be damned if I'm gonna let some stranger pop through his stuff. Can I use your phone? What? It'll only take a second. Fine, fine, just hurry up. Who do you think you're calling? Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey? Um... Yes, I had some questions for you. Ah! <laughs> not bad, kid, not bad. If you got something to say, say it quick. Lady Pincushion here is starting to look a little hot under the collar. Yes, hello. Could you tell me what I'm supposed to do now, please? Do? Look around, check for clues. We need all the information we can get our hands on. Joey, I'm not sure I can do what you ask me to do. This is stupid. Kid, you have to. Don't back out now. Joey, can you do something about that little bird who is watching me? Huh? You mean Metal Nose? Yes, she's making me nervous. Me? What can I do? You performed a little trick for me earlier. I'd like you to repeat it for me. Trick? Joey, do you see the pile of papers on the desk? Yeah? I need you to work your magic on them. Uh, sure, sure, I can handle that. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. use your phone again. Again? It'll only take a second. Fine, yeah, 
whatever. Just hurry up. Hello, could I speak to Joey, please? Hi, Joey. Joey, could you do that little trick one more time? I'm not sure where you're going with this, but uh, okay. Thanks again, Kelly. Yeah, sure. I'm not lugging that thing around. Nice one. Looks like standard poli sci lecture notes. It looks like Joanne liked to doodle in class. The last set of notes in this notebook are pretty strange. I'd better take a closer look. Ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly. Fine. Make it quick. Do you know anyone named Alexander? No. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Please let me look around. It would really help me out. I've helped you out enough. You can ask your stupid questions, but you touch nothing. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. Joanne drew this picture of Susan and this guy and wrote Susan and Alexander underneath it. A boyfriend, maybe? I wonder if there's a connection between Allie and this Alexander. The future Mrs. Davenport? I wonder what that means. I recognize her. That's Joanne. That's her, the ghost in the park. She looks so happy here. I wonder what happened to make her like that. I think it's safe to say that these refer to the same person. Could I ask you some follow-up questions, Kelly? <sighs> Fine. Make it quick. Do you know an Alexander Davenport? No. Thanks for helping out. Yeah, sure. Whatever. Thanks again, Kelly. Whatever. So, congratulations, kid. You committed your first burglary. Is that what I just did? For the greater good, kid. For the greater good. That makes me feel so much better. Hmm? 
Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you know an Alexander Davenport? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Hmm. The school thought that Adrian was a girl because of his name. Alex could also be a girl's name. I wonder. Hmm? Hi, it's me again. You have more questions, I imagine? Yeah, is that okay? I suppose so. What do you want to know? Do you know an Alexander Davenport? The name doesn't ring a bell, I'm afraid. Well, that's all for now. Thanks for helping out. Just remember, leave my name out of it. Please note, Dog Walking Park is closed until further notice. Hmm. Joe! Shh! Shall we go someplace where you don't look like a crazy homeless person? I don't want to, but I guess we should talk to the ghost again. Don't worry. I'll do the talking. Hey there! Remember me? No. Maybe. Can you tell me the last thing you remember? Candy. I was eating candy. Candy? Candy to make the deacon go away. Ah. I think I understand. Did it work? I don't hear him anymore. But he did something to me. The hell go away! Do you know anyone named Alexander Davenport? On a date with Alexander the Great. Was it an accident, or was it just fate? Can you tell me about your friend Susan? Quiet Sue. Little Lady Lee. Always neat and always fair. Won't say much, but you'll know she's there. Lady... Lee? She had to go away. Stupid deacon. Sending away all my friends. Even the little, little ones. Is your name Allie? Yes, that's me. Allie Montego, a story and song. She kisses the boys, but not for long. Cute. Well, Allie Montego. At least we've confirmed who you are. Can you tell me who the deacon is? The deacon is the deacon. We called him and he came. He got into my head. He's scared. He's diseased. He's made me diseased too. Now everyone goes away. Are you friends with a girl named Joanne? 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 Beware of Joanne when her plans unfurled, for she intends to take over the world. She had to go away. He drove her away. She didn't understand. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Joanne? She can't be dead. She's going to change the world. She's not dead. Even though she had to go away. They all had to go away because of the deacon. Do you know Kelly? Kelly, Kelly, crazy Kelly, made of ice jelly. We all drove her away. But that was okay. It wasn't the deacon's fault. It was hers. Look, just sit tight. We'll figure this out, and we'll be back. That place is creepy. What? You don't like dogs? You know what I mean.
<laughs> Lee is a pretty common name, but it should narrow things down. I think I got her. Susan Lee, 18 years old, was admitted to Bellevue Hospital last week after an apparent suicide attempt. I think that's our girl. That's too common a word. Whoever the deacon is, I don't think I'll find him this way. Allie Montego. Let's see if I can find her. Hmm. She apparently spent some time on a spiritual internet forum. She was looking for information about Ouija boards? Are Ouija boards dangerous? She asked. Can they call anything evil? And if so, how do you get rid of it? Oh, jeez. Another bunch of hacks messing with those stupid boards. This has happened before? A few times. Those things are nothing but trouble. Why was Allie interested in Ouija boards? The girls were interested in Ouija boards and they are all haunted by someone named the Deacon. Could there be a connection? You coming? Yeah, sure. Man, I hate this place. I was stuck here for 25 years. Why'd you have to drag me back here, huh? Is Susan Lee a patient here? Susan? Yeah, we've got her. She came in about a week ago. May I visit Susan Lee? Sure. If you're on the approved guest list. Uh, what was your name again? Rosangela Blackwell. Sorry, you're not on the list. She'll be out in a week. You can visit her then. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... I gave you the wrong name. You did what? Yeah, gave the wrong name. Sorry, it's a character in a play I'm in. Ugh, that's the best you could come up with? Really? Well, what is your name? My name is Allie. Right, well, you're still not on the list. I don't think they'd let dead people on the list, sweetheart. But good try. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... You didn't see it? Maybe you should check again. I missed it, huh? I'm sure of it. Well, let's check again. What was your name again? My name is Allie. Right. Well, you're still not on the list. I don't think they'd let dead people on the list, sweetheart. But good try. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. I told you, you're not on the guest list. Oh, well, that's because... I wasn't on the list at the time. I should be on it now. Oh, really? Well, let's check then. What was your name again? My name is Alex Davenport. Huh. Your name is on the list. Can I go in now? Sure. I'll notify the nurse that you're coming. She'll take you in. Thanks.
Alexander? Um, no, I'm sorry. Where's Alexander? He's not here. They told me... they told me he was coming. Yeah, I'm sorry, but I... It's okay. He doesn't want to see me, anyway. Who are you? My name is Rosangela. I'd like to talk to you if that's okay. Are you a doctor? No, I'm not a doctor. But I'd still like to talk to you if that's okay. Mm-hmm. So how are you feeling? Fine. That's all. Yeah, I'm fine. Whatever. I'd like to talk to you about your friend Joanne. You know Joanne? Sort of. What, what about her? Can you tell me about her? She's Joanne. That's all. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Susan? She just did. Don't know why. Do you know Joanne's roommate, Kelly? Yeah, sorta. Why? Oh, no reason. Can you tell me anything about Alex? He... I don't know. He's nobody. Just some guy. Susan, can you tell me why you're here? What happened? Nothing. Just... nothing. Do you know what happened to Allie? Yeah. Do you know why she did it? No. Susan, can you listen to me? You're not crazy. I know what happened. You summoned the deacon with a Ouija board. No, that didn't really happen. Susan, you don't have to pretend. I believe you. You do? Whatever happened, I believe you. He still comes to me. The drugs keep him away during the day, but when I sleep, he enters my head and he won't stop screaming. I thought I was crazy, but Joanne and Allie, how could it happen to all three of us? It's impossible. No, it's not. No, it's not. The deacon is real? I believe so, yes. Are you here to help me? I'm going to try. Thank God. I was ready to die here, but... I know. Can I ask you some questions about what happened? Sure. Ask whatever you want. Can you tell me anything about Joanne? Joanne wanted to save the world, but she couldn't even save her friends. After Allie went, Joanne couldn't take it. She blames herself, but it's not her fault. I don't blame her for it. Any of it. It was only luck that I ended up here and didn't die. Do you know why Joanne killed herself? Yes. The deacon. He got in our heads. His voice keeps pleading, babbling. Nothing shuts him up. Just keeps going. I just wanted quiet. Peace and quiet. That's why Joanne jumped off the roof. She was willing to give anything to just keep him quiet. Even her life. Was Kelly involved in any of this? Kelly? Joanne's roommate? Yeah. No. She always left when we came over. She didn't like us much. But that's okay. We didn't like her either. Can you tell me anything about Alex? Alex was my boyfriend, I guess. But since I came here, he won't see me anymore. Just as well. The jerk. Can you tell me about Allie? Allie. Oh, I miss her so much. The sweetest, funniest person in the world. You couldn't help but smile with her around. She was always dragging us out on some adventure. She was so... different. Every other girl had pictures of boys on their walls. She had pictures of dogs. She loved dogs. She was studying to be a vet to take care of them. And now she can't. She... she was the first of us to go. Why is that? How come the strongest of us was the first to break down? We've already established this. I don't need to bring it up again. So what happened to you, Susan? What did the deacon do to you? The same thing he did to the others. Got into my head and just wouldn't keep quiet. 
It was just so noisy inside my head. I had to do something. I saw the speeding taxi, and I just... Well, you know, here I am. Were you hurt? No. The driver hit the brakes in time. Taxi missed me completely. Then the stupid cop on the corner dragged me here. I can't even kill myself right. I have to go now, Susan, but I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. Look, Joey, it's starting to get dark. Yeah, I can see that. Was it the darkness that gave it away? I'm just saying. Whoa! Hold on there. You want to go in, I gotta clear you first. I'd like to see Susan Lee, please. Sure thing, you're cleared. Go right in. Hi, Susan. Hi. It's good to see you again. How are you now, Susan? Better. It's nice to know I'm not crazy. Yeah, that's a good feeling. It's just... these drugs. The meds help keep the deacon's voice low. And that's good. But they also cause water retention, and I have to take a diuretic pill to fix that. And I'm just sick of peeing all the time. Now that I know I'm just haunted and not really crazy, I don't see why I have to take it. I don't care if I retain water and get fat. I just want to stop peeing. <laughs> Is she for real? I've been palming the pills. Is that bad? I can't answer that. Well, I was hoping you could do me a favor. What? Can you take the pills out of here? I'm scared the orderly will find them. Please? Fine, uh, give them to me. You are such a chump. Thanks so much. So Susan, could you tell me what brought you here? I don't know. They think I'm crazy. Are you? Crazy, I mean. I don't know. They think so. I have to go now, Susan. But I'll come back to check on you again. Mm-hmm. These pills, according to Susan, are a mild diuretic. Okay, I put the pills in the dog biscuit. Come in! Welcome back, Rosa. Come in! Are you all right, Rosa? You look a little preoccupied. I'm fine. That's odd. Moti never acts like that. Oh, jeez. In case you haven't noticed, some animals can sense me. Are you getting a good look, Mutt? Boo! What's gotten into you, Moti? I'm sorry, he must be sick or something. It's all right.
You said yesterday that you sense things. Yes. Could you tell me more about that? Well, I'm not psychic or anything, if that's what you mean. I'm just observant. Anyone could tell something was wrong if they kept their eyes open. Speaking of which, care to tell me what's wrong? What do you mean? You look ill at ease, uncomfortable. The way your eyes keep moving back and forth. Is everything all right? Say you're fine, kid. I'm fine. Yep, everything's just dandy. Just dandy. And could you stop looking at me? I mean, I know it's hard. I see. Well, I'm here if you need me. Well, I'd better go. Take care, Rosa. Come back whenever you'd like. Um, what do I do now? Just say, go get it. He'll do the rest. Go get it. Oh, Moti, now? I just took you out an hour ago. Well, you're going to have to wait. I have my hands totally full. Unless... Rosa, would you mind taking Moti for a walk? If you're going to be friends, this is a good opportunity for you to bond. Oh, sure. I don't mind at all. Thank you so much. Moti gets cranky when he doesn't get his way. Just take him to the park until he goes. It shouldn't take long. Right. Here you go, boy. You're drugging innocent dogs now? It's only a mild diuretic. It won't hurt him. And you're the one in such a damn hurry. All right, point taken. Hey there, bright eyes. It's me again. Are... are you him? No, I'm not, but I've brought some friends. Say hi to the kid, sweetheart. Um, hi. I don't, I don't think, think she wants she to see me. Sure she does. Go on, kid. Tell Ellie how much you want to see her. Oh, uh, yeah, sure. Great to meet you. See? I don't, I don't believe, believe you. you. It doesn't matter if you believe me or not. She needs your help. Help? See the dog over there? The, the Boston, Boston Terrier? Terrier? Good, good. You know your breeds. This Boston Terrier is not feeling too well. I was hoping that you could take a look at him. I... Yes. yes. Yes, I can. I know a lot about dogs. So we heard. That's why we came to you. But they won't let me help them. They always run away. This one won't. Go on. The dog needs you. So this is your dog, huh? Um, yeah, sort of. Hi, little guy. What's your name? <laughs> right. Aren't you the cutest little thing? Hmm, your ears look okay. No signs of inflammation. Now I'm just going to open your mouth. That's... odd. I don't feel any breath. I don't feel anything. I... Oh. I'm sorry. I remember. I'm dead. Yep. I killed myself. I had no choice. Can you tell us what happened? My friends and I, we played a game. A Ouija board. We thought it would be fun. And you called something? Yes. He called himself the Deacon. It's kind of hazy now, but I remember his voice in my head, screaming. What did he say? I don't know. It didn't make any sense. He just kept asking me to help him, but he wouldn't say how. I tried ignoring him, but he just got louder and louder until I took the pills and- Shh. It's over now. I know. So what now? Now? Now, we're going to send you where you need to go.
Here, take this and hold on tight. You ready? I guess so. Good. Now pull. Yeah, you and me both. Ow. Hello? Yeah, hi! I'm not sure if we've met. I'm Rosangela. I know! You brought the dog to me! You brought me back to my senses. And then you brought me here. Thanks so much! So, are you ready to... well, you know. Am I ready to die? Well, yeah. Sorry, I'm kinda new at this. That's okay. I'm gonna make it easy for you. Just tell me what to do. Just head towards that light. The light. Right. Like every cliche in the book. You think I'll see Joanne over there? I'm not sure it works like that, but anything is possible. Well, either way, I'm glad it's over. And hey, You'll make sure Susan's okay, right? Sure. Well, here goes. See ya. See ya. Ugh. You're awake. That didn't take too long. She just went. She seemed happy about it. Yeah, sometimes you'll get easy ones. The ones who are all too happy to move on. Others... Well, you'll see. Anyway, let's get this dog back before your neighbor calls the police. Our work is not over yet. She is so going to kill me. Just a minute! Oh! Oh, there you are! I was just about to go to bed. I'm sorry we took so long. Not to worry. Did you have fun, Moti? Did you have fun? <coughs> of course. Well, good night, Rosa. Thanks again for helping me out. Strange lady. Please be advised that visiting hours are now over. Oh well, looks like we have to wait until tomorrow. No can do, toots. Remember what she said? The deacon comes to her at night when she's sleeping. Waiting until tomorrow won't do us any good. What? You think we can just waltz right into Susan's room? Sure. How? Improvise, sweetheart. That's what this gig is all about. Whoa! Hold on there. You wanna go in, I gotta clear you first. Fuse box key? I could probably do something with this. Some small keys. I don't think I need any of these other keys. I don't have anyone to call. Now you've done it.
You better find a place. You better find a place to hide. Find a place to hide quick. She's asleep. Yeah, like a baby. It won't be long. Before what? Before that. Please. Please. Can't you help me? Please. I don't know what to do. I don't want to burn. Please. The others are gone. You're the only one. Please. You can't hear me here, but you can hear me in your dreams. Please. Wake up and help me. Ahem. Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please. It's out there. Watching. Waiting. Susan. Susan. You called me. You can help me. Hey. Ignore them, Susan. Listen to me. Help me. Please. I'm talking to you, clown shoes. You're... you're talking to me? Yeah, so can you calm down long enough to tell me what's going on? I... I can't. You're like me. What do you mean? Dead. Like me. Wait a minute. Just a goddamn minute. You know you're dead? Yes. Well, that certainly saves time. We can help you. Here, grab a hold of this. No. no. Get that away from me! What the hell is wrong with you? You need saving, we're here to save you. What's the problem? I can't! What are you so scared of? You're stuck, right? We can help you move on. No. I don't want to. You don't... want to? No, I... I'm afraid. Oh, you're afraid, are you? You believe this guy? What do you want? Safety. Sanctuary. It's following me. Waiting. Watching. Trying to take me. But it hasn't caught me yet. Not yet. Yeah, whatever. This guy's off his nut. Let me handle this baby doll. I know how to speak to spooks like this. What hasn't caught you? It. It. I see it everywhere, in every shadow, in every corner. Why is it after me? Why? The soft touch ain't gonna cut it, sweetheart. You're too green. Let me show you how it's done. Who is after you? It! It! Haven't you ever seen him? Forget it, kid. He isn't listening. We're wasting our time. He knows he's dead. We don't need kid gloves to handle this. Let me take over. Sure. Do it your way. All right, Mac. Spill. You've scared these girls literally to death, and I want to know why. What are you so afraid of? I... I don't want to burn. Burn? Oh, oh, I get it. You think you're going to hell. The devil himself. He told me. Please don't make me go. You're scared of the devil, huh? Yes! Yeah, well, I don't see any devil. There's just you and me. And you know what? I'm worse than any devil you'll ever see. Hey! I've been doing this for 40 years, bucko. Every ghost I meet goes to their final rest one way or the other. You're scared? I don't give a rat's ass. Two people are dead because of you. So take the damn tie and let's get this over with.
No! You can't make me! Don't make me burn, please! <sighs> Hurts, don't it? How? Oh. Ghosts aren't supposed to feel pain, but I've learned some tricks. Now take the damn tie! Joey, stop it! You wanna handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. You can't keep going on like this. It's better than burning. Uh-huh, yeah, you had your shot. Now it's my turn. So, are we gonna do this the easy way? Or the hard way? Please! No! What are you gonna do to me? Please don't make it get me! I don't wanna go to hell! Hell, Schmel. You wanna stop talking crap? Hey, stop! Let me talk to him, okay? You wanna handle this? Go right ahead. Let's see you do any better. I know a safe place. You can hide there. Really? Where is it? Not far, but you'll have to trust us. Trust you? Why should I trust you? Because nobody else has offered to help you before, right? Yeah. You ask and ask for help, but nobody answers, right? No. Nobody answers. Well, we have. We're gonna help you. Has anybody else said the same? No. No, they haven't. I think... Oh, I'm so tired of running. If you say you can help me, I believe you. What needs to be done? Just listen to my friend. Here, just take the tie. You know what to do. I can't believe she pulled that off. Ow. You were right. I feel... safe. Are you ready? Yes. I really think so. It's really nice out here. Almost like... Like... At last, I have found you. No! You lied to me! What? It's here! You lied! What's that? Oh, crap! Joey? Joey! Get me out of here! Stay away. Stay away! There is nowhere to go. You cannot return to the mortal world. You can only go through me. Accept the punishments for your sins and come with me. Help me, please! You brought me here! You have to save me! You have to! Fool, no one can save you now. I'll give you a moment to prepare for the eternity to come, but then you are mine. What is that thing? It's come to take me to hell! Just like it always said it would. Uh, excuse me. Converse with me not. I shall give him time to prepare himself for the eternity to come. But then, he is mine. How did you get here? What is here? It is but an abstract concept to one such as I. I move at the power of thought, at the speed of death. Once my business is concluded, 
I shall trouble you no more. Why are you after this man? For his sins. All this time, he has not renounced them. Even after these many years of death, he still carries them with him. Can't you just let him go? He has killed many with his madness. His sins weigh him down even as we speak. Ask yourself, does he deserve mercy? Yes. You may think so, but your heart does not believe it. You have witnessed the results of his actions with your own eyes. What is that thing? I don't know. It haunted my dreams when I was alive and wouldn't leave me alone after death. And now, there's no place left to run. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. What is that in your pocket? My flask. Yeah, what's in it? Nothing. It's just a force of habit, I guess. Used to keep whiskey in it when I was alive. So what can I do? What does he want? He wants me. I don't know why. The deacon is carrying his sins, and the deacon is carrying his flask. Could this be symbolic? Get rid of that flask. Huh? Your flask! Get rid of it! My flask? Why? Just do it! But, but I can't. Why not? Because it's my flask. You want to be free of that demon? Trust me. Well... Oh, okay. You no longer carry your sins with you, dead one, but they still taint this place. That is not enough to save you. Please, help! There's nothing really special about it except that it belonged to a ghost. It's kind of vibrating. It is done. The sins have been abolished from this place. And my claim on you, dead one, is gone. Move on in peace and be troubled no more. He's gone? I think so. He's gone. I'm, I'm free of him. I'm really free. All this time. It's all so clear to me now. Like my head was full of cobwebs and now they're gone. I... All those people who died. They killed themselves because of me. It's all right. No, it's not all right. I didn't know what I was doing, but that doesn't excuse it. I spent most of my life as a drunk, and most of my death as a murderer. I was worried about going to hell before. Maybe I'm okay with that now, now that I know I might deserve it. Maybe you can still redeem yourself. Maybe, eventually, but not right now. You see, I was a religious man once, before disease took my wife away, and I took to the bottle. If I'm going to hell, well then maybe I can still spread the word of God there. Do some good for once. Well, this is it. Goodbye.
and thanks. Jesus Christ, kid, you all right? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. What took you so long? It got a little complicated. Well, I'm just glad you're okay. Let's get out of here. I need some air. I know the perfect place. He's at peace now, I guess. Wherever he is. I saved him, I think. Gave him some hope, at least. He's getting no more than he deserves. No more than any of us deserve. I guess. I really wished I could have popped him one more time. He really hacked me off. Is that your answer to everything? Don't you start judging me. You managed to pull it off. I'm impressed. I'm just glad you're okay. Joey? Yeah? Why did Auntie stop? Stop what? Stop doing this. This ghost saving or whatever it is we do. Oh. Ah. Uh. It was you. Me? She wanted to take care of you. Wanted to do it right, she said. Stop listening to me. Stop saving the ghosts. Just put all her effort into taking care of you. And then she fell into that weird coma. Yeah. I see. I guess there's a lesson in that. Is there? Yeah.
There's hundreds of confused spirits out there, sweetheart. And there's nobody else who can help him. There's just us. Bestowing eternity on every sob story out there. One lost soul at a time. Whether we want to or not.